Good morning, my friend. What up? Time for a cup of coffee. You can see it's a beautiful morning here. I know some of you are not having such a beautiful morning. I've been reading the weather reports on uh, on Facebook, and uh, for some of you, you're buried under freezing temperatures and 10 tons of snow. I have mixed emotions. I love snow, especially when I get to sit inside and look out the window at it. I don't love it when I have to drive in it or have to get uh, out to shovel it out of the driveway or dig out the car. But um, I've been up in the mountains when it was snow and when the winds were gusting 100 miles an hour over the ridges and the snow was falling in you know, a foot an hour or something. It's beautiful, it's just absolutely amazing, beautiful. So, I asked you this morning, are you a client or a customer? I listened to a talk the other day about clients versus customers and really an intriguing idea. You know, when we walk into Walmart, or Walmart's a good example, very impersonal. Um, uh, Home Depot's a good example. Try to find a clerk to help you if you need something. It's easier in Home Depot. Sometimes it's okay in Walmart, but it's really hard. Nobody greets you at the door. Nobody says good morning. Nobody says hi. How are you today? Can I help you with anything? Nobody uh, offers up. You can roam around the store all day long looking for something and not find anybody to help you find it. Uh, and when you do find what you want, you go check out. And it begins very impersonal. And in fact, many of the checkers are being replaced now uh, by the automatic checkout machines. And um, there's a pushback against that because it means employees are being replaced. But but it's a very impersonal experience. You, you go in to buy something, you find it, you buy it, you get out, you pay for it, you get out, it's over. It's different than being treated like a client. When you walk into, say, a lawyer's office, a good lawyer, you know, a, a decent one, you know, they, they greet you hand extended, maybe fist these days, I don't know, first name, the, uh, the, the professional knows who you are, knows your situation, knows your story, is rooting for you, is in your quarter, professional, uh, treat you like, like a, a friend, like they care, they make you feel like you're, they care about your situation and they're going to do everything they can do to help you. And yes, you're paying the money for it, but you're paying Walmart money too. It doesn't matter. The fact is, one treats you like a customer, the other treats you like a, like a, a, a client. So how do you treat your prospects? When you see a prospect for your business, do you think of them as a customer or a client? Do you look at the customer, potential prospect, customer as a sale? Do you see a price tag on their forehead? Or do you look at them as a person? Do you see a situation, a need, a want, a desire? Do you see that they need something or they want something? Uh, they have a pain that they're trying to solve situation that they're trying to change you know if you see them as a person as a as a client and learn about them and understand their pain points it'll be far easier to turn that prospect into a sale than it is if you treat them like a price tag like your customer like someone who's walking in the door to just buy something and you want to quickly figure out what they need and get them out of there as soon as possible so you can go on to the next customer. So how do you treat your prospects? One way takes maybe a little bit more time, just a little bit, but has a much higher probability of, of sale than the other way. The other way probably actually in the long run takes more time because you're going to go through more customers before you find a sale than you're going to go through clients. It may take a little longer per person, but the probability of a sale of success is much higher because you're learning about the person and what their needs are, what they want, and you don't offer them something that they don't need or want. You wait until you know what they need or want, and that's what you offer them. And if you don't have one of those in your repertoire, well, then you offer them somebody who does. How does that sound this morning? It's a new week. 
Let's make some let's make some sales. Let's make some customers. Let's make some clients. Let's make some prospects. Let's have some success. All right, my friends. You have a wonderful day. Remember to be compassion. The world needs a whole lot more of that right now. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.